So hello, I'm Dr. Naomi Sutton. This little video is to show you how to do a self-taken rectal swab for gonorrhea and chlamydia at home, comfort of your own home. So if you've ordered one from Rotherham, it will come like this in this envelope. Inside is a box. If we open it up, you'll have a rectal swab, a form, another bag, and an instruction leaflet. If you have ordered rectal swabs, you're probably going to have other swabs to do. So a urine and sometimes a pharyngeal swab or a vulva or a vaginal swab. Um, they will all be enclosed within the same box. But for the purposes of this little video, this is how to do the rectal one. This is an example of the rectal swab. So it's an orange tube. And if you open it up, there's a, the swab inside, which is pink. Like so. And it's got a little black line and this is where it self breaks once you've done the swab. So really importantly, so when you're ready to do the swab, make sure you have somewhere flat to put this sample tube because this has fluid in and what's really important is this doesn't get spilt. So put this somewhere flat, take, screw off the lid and put that somewhere separate. So I'm gonna demonstrate how you need to take your self-taken anal swab. So inside the packet, there was, um, there's this swab, which has a orange sample tube and the swab. The first thing to do is to unscrew the lid from the sample tube and put it on a flat surface and make sure that you don't spill the fluid that's contained within. Next thing to do, obviously you're gonna wash your hands, but the next thing to do is to unwrap your swab. It's a pink swab and there's a self-breaking black line on it. So the cotton bud end needs to go into the bottom. So if we pretend this is the bottom, it needs to go in, so don't, there's no point um, brushing it around the edge, it needs to go into the bottom at least about one, one and a half inches or two to three centimetres and then it needs to rub up and down the anal walls for up to about 10 seconds. Okay, once that's done, take it out and pop it into the tube. It self snaps off at the black line and then make, make sure the lid is on tightly and the silver foil isn't pierced. Once you've done your sample, this is the, a really important thing to do is to fill the form in properly so that we can get the results back to you. So you need your first name, your surname, your date of birth, your postcode, the date of the test, whether you're male or female or other, your sexuality. This is really important to tick if you're happy for us to send your results via text message to your mobile. Fill in your contact details, so ideally we want your address your mobile number, a landline if you've got it, and an email address. And again, please tick here if you're happy for us to leave an answer phone message. Normally, we wouldn't give results over an answer phone message, but we'd just get you to phone us back. And then make sure that you tick, this is the rectal sample, and then this is the label that's gonna go on your sample itself. So you want your first name, your surname, your date of birth, and the date of the test. Once that's all filled in, this sticker peels off, you pop it onto the tube, make sure it's tightly on, that's you done. There's a bag attached to the back of the form, so this slips in there. Take this off to seal it. And then the other bag that you'll have had in the box is just another bag to pop it into. This can be tricky, but if you just hold the corner there, oh, <laughs> hold the corner down and pull the red bit off to seal that as well. Then this just pops into the box. You Again, you might have more samples to fit in. And then this just gets popped into a post box. 
when it's all sealed like that.